Hi traders, this is Andrew Masters from FIBO Group and welcome to my weekly Forex report. To kick off Monday during the Asian session, the market will await key real estate data from Australia with the release of the latest home loan sales figure which should create some volatility and trading opportunities in the Australian dollar. In the European session, we'll see the latest consumer price index figures from the Eurozone which will be closely monitored by investors as there is speculation that the ECB may increase their stimulus package to kickstart the economy and we expect volatility in the euro. On Tuesday during the Asian session, all eyes will again be on Australia as the latest interest rate decision and monetary speech from the Reserve Bank of Australia hits the market. Although we expect rates to remain on hold, the following speech will be closely monitored as most analysts expect the RBA to cut rates in the nearest future and volatility is expected in the Australian dollar. In the American session, we'll see market manufacturing PMI from the US, which is a key indicator of business confidence. The number came in at 51 last time, with a number above 50 showing the sector in growth mode, and another repeat performance should lend some support to the US dollar. On Wednesday, Australia will again be in the spotlight, with the release of quarterly GDP numbers, which is also expected to create some volatility in the Australian dollar. In the European session, we'll see the producer price index from the Eurozone, which is a key indicator of business confidence. The number came in at minus 0.8 last month, which shows the sector is somewhat struggling, and another poor number may see the Euro come under pressure. On Thursday, the highlight of the day will be the release of market services PMI from France, Germany, the Eurozone as a whole, and the US. All numbers from the respective countries remained above 50 in recent months, which shows the sector in expansion mode, and a repeat performance should lend some support to the US dollar and euro. On Friday, the most important news of the week will be the release of the non-farm payrolls figure and unemployment rate from the US. This is the last release before the US Federal Reserve's interest rate decision next month, which will be closely monitored, and a strong number may raise speculation that the Fed will raise rates this month, and we expect plenty of movement in the US dollar. To finish off the day, we'll see the Ivy Purchasing Managers Index from Canada, which is a key indicator of business conditions, and we expect some trading opportunities in the Canadian dollar as we close out the week. That's all from me at FIBO Group, and I'll see you all next week.